Dr. Simon Boxall from the National Oceanographic Center uh, is running an interesting project called Cape Farewell. Can you tell me what this is about? I, I coordinate the science on a project called Cape Farewell, which brings together scientists, artists, musicians, writers to look at some of the scientific issues of climate change. And in particular, focusing on what's happening at high latitudes in the Arctic. And the Arctic is the ideal barometer on our planet today. And so we have voyages, trips aboard a ship called the Nordlik, where we do core science, but alongside that core science, we work with artists and musicians and filmmakers to record the events taking place in many different ways, whether it's through songwriting, whether it's through poetry, whether it's through writing novels. It's a way of, of bringing a different perspective on our scientific environment. And what impact are you seeking to achieve from this? We're looking to get an impact to a much wider audience. We're looking beyond the audience that normally will sit through a long science documentary or will read through a long science article. If we can embed some of the things going on in our world today in novels, in music, then the message of science is getting out to a much wider audience. And it's seen as, rather than being rather dry and perhaps a bit sort of uh, hard to uh, understand, it suddenly becomes part of the, the language. And if we can make some of our scientific issues, whether it's climate change, whether it's pollution, um, whether it's GM crops, if we can make some of these things part of the national language, part of the normal language of normal people, then it demystifies some of these things. And sometimes one of the biggest blocks to science advancement today isn't necessarily the funding. It's quite often public misconception. Simon, thank you very much.